my name is John Love, and I'm the resident engineer on the Cluggage Bridge Project over the Illinois River. Planning for the float in has been in the works since 2019. Contractor debated to build in place, or an off-site, and then float in. Eventually, the contractor's engineering team decided they could save time building off-site, which allowed simultaneous construction activities to occur. There were four major challenges. A 48-hour Coast Guard window due to the high volume of commercial river traffic. Second, the depth of the river outside of the channel at only two foot required dredging and monitoring after heavy rains. During the float-in, winds were required to be kept under 20 miles an hour in order to keep the barge support system stable, so that limited the window of time. The river itself was the final and fourth major challenge as it needed to be kept and maintained from start to finish. The Army Corps helped out with that. The process itself involved lowering and raising barges with the use of pumps and river water used as ballast. Water was added to sink the barges and push under the temp support system. Then water was removed to raise the barges carrying the arch. The temp support system was then disconnected from the piles they were sitting on for the last year and the bridge was slowly raised up and ready to move. Two tugboats then backed out into the channel and floated up to the permanent pier supports. From here, the contractor used cables and winches to push and pull in the east-west direction in order to land the bridge on its final resting spot. 48 anchor bolts were then placed to restrain the structure. After all was said and done, it was a great relief for all involved. The contractor's engineering team, many local trade workers, and various inspection teams were all outstanding. All did their due diligence, checking and rechecking over and over. Everyone went home that night and could sleep a little better. Starting in early 24, we can expect to see a continuation of work on the arch, followed by placement of all remaining steel girders and concrete decks, along with miscellaneous items like pavement striping and lighting.